Okay, this is an example of alt text in the images. And we're going to go take a look at engraved Riedel wine glasses. And in this example, we're going to use our corporate gifts and flowers client because they, uh, they promote wine glasses. They're one of the uh, entities that engrave Riedel, Riedel wine glasses and ship them all over the world. In this case, they're number one. There doesn't appear to be an ad. Actually, they're number one and number two. But let's take a look at number one. Let's drill into this. And again, this is alt text. So right off the bat, we can hover over the main image. And it says custom engraved Riedel wine glass. That's the alt text in the HTML. Um, also, it's important to label and name the image correctly. In this case, we can see the image name is custom Riedel wine glasses. So we're being consistent with the search engines. We want to make sure everything's in line. It doesn't have to be an exact, but it should be consistent so every step of the way the search engines see what they are looking for. Also at the top, let's take a look at engraved Riedel wine glasses and Riedel wine decanters. Again, we're being consistent on what we're telling them. Our H1 tag says custom corporate logo engraved Riedel wine glasses and decanters. So start to finish. Let's back up. Let's go take a look at a similar term. Engraved Riedel decanter. And we'll see this same page ranks on that as well as number one. And if we look at this, it's the same page, but if we scroll down a little bit further, we're going to hover over some of the sale images. These sale images launch PDFs. In this case, engraved Riedel decanter sale. So again, we're looking at engraved Riedel decanters. And that, can, that completes the, uh, the sample of the alt text. And that gives you a good idea of how to use it on the page. I hope this has been helpful.